What's up, guys? Crystal Closet Weave here, and we're back on my closet to watch episode 11 of The Promised Neverland. So, last episode, uh, Mama Isabella uh, went through with the shipment of Norman, uh, but that was after Norman was able to investigate the walls, and he came back to Ray and Emma and told them. Uh, that there's a big uh, canyon between the wall and some land but then he was he, he drew a picture of how um, the walls and the formation of where they are they're at is and Norman was looking really defeated he just accepted his fate and then uh, Ray and Emma were just really upset with him uh, his he was taken to the gate by mama uh, but then Mama told him to wait in some room, so we didn't see him actually get shipped off yet. So I'm assuming he's still alive. Uh, Emma and Ray, super depressed uh, the whole time. I forgot how much time passed. And then Mama was just talking to Emma, telling her that she just needs to accept it. Blah, 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 blah. blah. And then at the end, uh, we saw a little meeting between Ray and Emma. And it looked like they were acting. So it looked like they were playing... Uh, the long con they they had this is part of their plan I'm assuming they they made a plan with Norman before he got shipped off to, to act super sad and depressed to maybe get uh, mama off their backs a little bit so yeah I'm ready for the turn because I was I was feeling defeated with them <laughs> so uh, let's see what happens next let's jump into episode 11 of the promised Neverland uh, 140146. Mm. The look. I didn't give up yet. Norman die? Oh my goodness. I don't know. Two months is a long time to keep a kid alive. Ah, having the meetings with Don and Gilda. Hey, for two months, they kept the plan going. All right, so they both were cooking up. They were both cooking up a plan. Oh, we starting the fire? Oh, jeez. Burn the whole place down. <laughs> boy made some Molotovs. <laughs> that boy is ready. It's going down. Right now. Hurry. How's your leg? Hey. She's good. Game time. Man, Ray, why are you talking like you ain't joining? Come on, man. Is that what Ray's gonna do? He's gonna stay behind. Stop her. Oh, he's putting it on himself. Oh, this is getting real scary. <laughs> oh, he wanted to just... Yeah, he just wanted to be rebellious towards Mama. Dang, just for this ultimate revenge. 
Just to take it away from him. Yup. Mm. He's outsmarting these demons. Yeah, I feel this is like his way for atoning for knowing the truth. Yeah, this boy, this boy, crazy, twelve-year-old, <laughs> crazy kid. Oh, the pictures. Jay, so we really lost Norman, or what? Are we about to lose Ray? Boy's gonna set himself on fire. Ooh, he's starting. Ooh. Oh, that boy is crazy. That boy, that boy got the, he got a set in stone in his head. Jesus! The boy's ablaze! He really set himself on fire! Or did he pull a fast one on everyone? Who knows? I don't know. Come on guys, you guys all have to escape. <laughs> it's crazy to think it's just her trying to protect protect her product. Oh, but she's freaking out. <laughs> she already gone. Oh, what you gonna do? Who are you gonna save? She broke the tracker. Oh. Oh, she just cut her ear off. Oh my goodness. Oh, she. Ooh, ooh, ooh. She angry. Ooh. Hey, yo. Stay quiet, guys. Hey! There he is! He cut his ear off and left it on there. But he was he was about to do it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Emma too fast. That leg is healed. All right, so they told everybody this whole time. Nice. <laughs> they put some. They put some hot dogs on a T-shirt. <laughs> what was that? Ooh, snap out of it. <laughs> yeah, they put a bunch of food, some hair. Oh, someone someone sacrificed their hair. Yep. That boy Norman. They got they they all thinking the same. We're all getting out of this together. Oh, that's what was left in that little, that little hole. <laughs> this boy planned it all out. Okay. 
レレを救いママを出し抜きみんなを連れて逃げるんだそれに思いがけない仕事にした、yep. The letter シスターク y e a シスタークローン What the heck were those keys? どうかレイを<laughs> They hit in Mama with the, the long con. <laughs> now they're tough. How the frick are you just gonna cut your ear off like that? My goodness. And the door is sealed, Mama. Hey, I can't get in. <laughs> yeah, you guys are all in here learning. Everybody, everybody got to have some kind of intelligence and maturity. Ah, oh, that's how they got him to learn. <laughs> Started off slow. Mm. The plan. They were ready. They were setting up this whole time. Hey, where the little where the little ones at? Where the little babies at? Oh what the I was like, is he really there? Oh she got emergency radio. You got to be in trouble. Oh, but yeah, to her, the product is still alive. Oh man, she. She is not worried. Yep. Phil! That's Phil, right? What you doing back here, Phil? What the frick, man? Alrighty, so they they played the long the long mission, and Norman uh, uh, cooked up the plan. He he knew that Ray was planning to set himself on fire, so then the kids could escape. So then Norman created the letter to let Emma know that she needs to figure something out to not let that happen. So that's giving me hope. Norman is still alive out there somewhere. Um, hopefully, because it, it has been two months, and that that is a long time to keep <laughs> keep keep for demons to keep their food uh, food fresh and alive. Um, but then, yeah, Emma came up with the plan. Uh, she she told all the kids about what's happening on this farm, so everyone was in on it. Everyone was preparing for two months. And they started that fire, distracted Mama, locked up her secret room. Um, doesn't look like all the kids are there because Phil was left behind. And uh, the kids that were running away just look like a, a, a select group. Um, so I guess we're going we're gonna to see that in the final episode. But Mama is actually happy with what's going on because in her eyes, her, her best products are still alive. Like the worst thing that could have happened in her, from her perspective, is that both Emma and Ray died in this in this accident in this situation. But the fact that they're still alive, she still has hope. She still believes she can capture them. Um, but I still got belief in these kids. They're they're gonna they're gonna make it out somehow. But then once they get to the wall and over there, how they're gonna how are they gonna live in this in this demon filled world? 
guess that's something I'll have to find out, but one more episode to go. I uh, can't wait to see what happens next. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one.